right, it's the morning brew Monday. I've got the coffee working now. It is working. <laughs> it is. Okay. Uh, hey, guess what? It's time for a newscastic. Yeah, we get to kick back on the couch and yeah. watch two lovely ladies from UNM present us some really useful information of what college life is really like at UNM. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Okay, here it is from Newscastic, The List. Hi, Larry and Amber. Thanks for having us on the show. I'm Claire from Newscastic, and this is my friend Shelby. We're both from the University of New Mexico, so we thought we'd go through a list of the 10 experiences you'll only have at the University of New Mexico. So, well, starting with number one is Burn Pistol Pete. This is something we do every year, and we thought we would start it because this is where Shelby and I actually hung out for the first time. This is where our friendship blossomed. It was, it was a, a really beautiful, beautiful moment. moment. <laughs> we took our first picture, selfie together. I mean, this is where it all began. Hashtag Burn Pistol Pete. Yeah, well, what is an Aggie, Claire? What even is an Aggie? I've yet to figure it out. I mean, it has a funny mu mustache and two guns, so that's all I know. The whole hanging thing kind of freaks me out a little bit. We're a little weird at UNM, but you get used to it. But we burn the whole thing down, and everybody gets rowdy, and we scream for no reason, and, <laughs> and it's fun. <laughs> all right, well, moving on to number two. <laughs> Pulling all-nighters at Frontier Restaurant, something we've both done multiple times. Yes. Um, the frontier rolls really help when you're up all night. We even They're... created a handshake for it, actually. Oh, yes, this is the, the roll. The cinnamon roll. The frontier roll. <laughs> Anybody can do it. So. And multiple people can do it. Exactly. All your friends can get in on that cinnamon roll action. <laughs> so, number three, you go to the Zimmerman Library, but for coffee. Do they have books at the Zimmerman Library? I've yet to find one yet, but I heard you can go upstairs and look for one somewhere. Okay, because I just, I beeline for Starbucks, and then get my early morning Starbucks action going on, get that buzz going. And then after that, I get right out of there again. I'm not about to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, number four is, no matter how good the football team is, you still tailgate. It's true. We're dedicated fans. I mean, you see... Everyone you ever know at tailgates. I mean, you see families, students, I mean, grandparents, everyone goes Whoa, there. Oh, I haven't seen any grandparents. <laughs> Those old people are getting out there. <laughs> everyone does. This one's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, this one, I mean, UNM students are very generous, and they like to strip down for charity. They're very giving. So this happens every year. Um, we, disclaimer, we have yet to do it, but... Um, they shed their clothes, and then they run around. How many miles do you think they run? I don't know. Probably not that far. Well, yeah. Probably. I mean, you're in your underwear, so what do you expect? Um, but all the clothes, something really cool about it is all the clothes are donated to Joy Junction. So, I mean, it's It is charity. a good cause. So, yeah, do it. But I don't know. It's really cold, so I've always looked outside. It's kind of drizzly. It's kind of raining, and I never do it. Yeah, I've never done it, but who knows? Maybe one of these days. And now number six. So this one's one of my personal favorites because I'm from Colorado, and so we have snow days when there's less than an inch of snow. Yes, and I've been, I've born and raised in Albuquerque. I've been having these ridiculous snow days forever. And so now moving on to number seven is getting your face on the Lobo. Never happened to either one of us. And I know, one day, maybe one, day, one of these days we'll be able to figure it out again. <laughs> um, so number eight is see a show on Pope Joy. Um, have you ever seen a show at Pope Joy? I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet I have yet to see a show at Pope Joy, but I know Shelby has performed there. All right, well, the Lion King's at Pope Joy, and it was awesome. <laughs> and now moving on to number nine. Expect to be hit by a car at least once a week. It's going to happen. <laughs> um, going back to the whole snow thing, um, getting hit by a car once a week, this happens more often when there's snow, so um, you just got to watch out. It could happen two, three times a week. I would suggest buying a helmet before you start going to UNM because... There's a bike shop across the street from UNM. Go buy a helmet, put some padding on, walk across the street. <laughs> they probably sell more helmets than bicycles there. I'm pretty it's true. sure. It's true. And so here's the last one. This is actually probably my top favorite, more than the snow one, is the pit becomes your second home during basketball season. Yes. And actually, this picture that was shown before, 
Um, I was I was in that picture. I'm I'm in the red. You Shelby, totally I, see me I think I see Shelby in there somewhere. Oh, I'm in there. Right there, right in the center. I'm I'm throwing up the Lobo sign. Oh, I'm right there next Lobos. to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I don't know about you, Shelby. What do you think is your favorite on the list? Um. I'd probably have to say the Frontier Restaurant. The Frontier Restaurant actually opened or was established in 1971. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy long time ago. But they have <laughs> delicious food. You have to go there if you haven't been there. I'm pretty sure everyone has been there. Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's literally our go-to every single time. If we're studying, just want to get food. I mean, I'm pretty brunch. sure. Brunch. I'm keeping them in business by eating their breakfast burritos every single day. Got to get that green chili fix. Exactly. I'm not, not from New Mexico, like I said earlier, so Frontier is the one that made me start liking green chili. Oh, yeah. How, when did you start liking green chili? Like, pretty much right after I moved here. Good. But, so, anyways, I wanted to... Thank Amber and Larry for having us on the show. If you guys want to check out any other list, you can go to newscastic.com slash abq. Find me on Tinder, I mean Twitter. Uh, <laughs> check us out on Facebook. That's newscastic.com slash abq, and we have it on Facebook and Twitter, not Tinder. Not Tinder. Don't go on Tinder. All right, I'm going to throw it back to Lam Larry and Amber. Lamber. Lamber. <laughs> Aren't they cute? You guys are awesome. <laughs> I used to study at the Frontier crazy, crazy, crazy long time ago, too. Yeah, what's yes. cute is they think they're the first ones to do all this yes. stuff. Yes. <laughs> and Miss Shelby Stapleton is actually, she's yeah. humble, but she's an incredible singer. No and kidding. I know because I used yeah. to play the piano in some of her classes. Um, at UNM when oh. she was studying opera, and she tried out for American Idol last week. So let's well keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, very she's good. Gonna, she's she's well, great. They're I thought they awesome did. guys. Great. I mean, girls. I, thought, I love especially the shot of the pit. Hey, I'm the one in there wearing red. In the red. Yeah. No bows. <laughs> Hilarious. So uh, listen, uh, it's it's fun. You know, we used to do this stuff in college too. All these yeah. kids <laughs> these I know, days. I know. So they think they invented it, but. <laughs> Somebody before us invented it. Oh, man, great stuff. Hey, that's the list from uh, our friends at Newscastic, and uh, we want to thank Shelby and Claire for dropping by. They did a great job. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to talk some tech with Eric Renz Whitmore from the Mexico Tech Council, and he's brought along another uh, guest, and we'll have all of that more on the Monday edition of The Morning Brew as we continue.